From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Thursday, October 16th, 2014. Leading our update this time, a Delta Junction man is being held at Fairbanks Correctional Center charged with 22 misdemeanor counts of stalking. 20-year-old Daniel Osipchuk was arraigned Tuesday in Fairbanks District Court after a warrant was issued for his arrest on October 13th. Court documents say Osipchuk, who was originally released from jail on another stalking case, began contacting the alleged victim using a fake name on social media. A judge had ordered Osipchuk to have no contact with the victim, but he messaged her multiple times using the alias. A Fairbanks grand jury has indicted the Fort Yukon man accused of beating a man so badly he might lose an eye. 31-year-old Lloyd Luke was indicted Tuesday on charges including first-degree burglary and second-degree felony assault. An affidavit stated Luke entered a residence uninvited and unprovoked. Witnesses said he then began beating the victim until his eye was completely swollen shut. And healthy snacks are blamed for a drop in vending machine sales in the Fairbanks North Star Borough School District. AP reports both local and federal restrictions have contributed to a drop of 71% in revenue from vending machines, which translates to hundreds of thousands of dollars, money that mostly went to help pay for extracurricular activities. The district imposed stringent requirements on what can be sold in vending machines six years ago, and even more restrictive federal requirements went into effect this year. Quick look at the Fairbanks weather. Today, mostly cloudy with isolated snow showers, highs in the lower 30s. Tonight, mostly cloudy with occasional flurries, lows in the upper teens to lower 20s. Then tomorrow, it's mostly cloudy and highs in the lower 30s. Extended forecast, partly cloudy in about 30 Saturday, then mostly cloudy after that with 20s on Sunday, back to 30 Monday through Wednesday, and the aurora forecast is low. That's all we have for right now. Glad you could join us. Remember, the rest of the News Center team will be here tonight at 6 with the Fairbanks Evening News. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis. Thanks for watching and enjoy your day.